Hello everybody, this is Jordan. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to talk to you today about something I received in the mail recently. Um, I backed it on Kickstarter back in March or April and I just recently received the product. They had a couple of delays um, which included the, um, another company was um, suing them because they were using a certain color that was resembling their shoes and they didn't like that so it had a couple delays because of that which is why it took so long to get them it's currently October or November 1st actually and I just got them last week so it took a while we were supposed to have them in July initially but that didn't work out but we finally have one of them I ordered two this is my first pair um, and what basically Kickstarter is is that you're backing a company that's like a startup and that company uses your funds to start their company and you get perks in in return. So this is what I backed. I, it was $150, um, including shipping and everything. And you get um, one of their products and they mail it to you. It's Sometimes the, uh, the Kickstarter is not guaranteed that it's going to work. They won't maybe not get enough backers to fund their project and they will have to cancel and send your money back but this was not the case for this one this one got fully backed pretty quickly um, so there's a lot of people waiting for their shoes still so I thought I would show you what I received and what it came in and everything so this was the box that I got um, it's a pretty nice box really heavy duty really sturdy you can use it again um, it's pink and white my, I know there's like another color one, but mine was pink. And then it has like the sizing information on the side. Um, that's one of the biggest situations right now that I'm seeing with a lot of backers was that they had a scan assist that they could you could use to try to determine what your shoe size was. Um, and basically you had to send pictures of your feet in and they were determined the size that was appropriate for you based on these pictures. I didn't do that. I opted to just measure my feet by myself and hope for the best and it seemed to work out pretty well for me. I know a lot of people had issues though with measuring and the scan assist didn't work out for them and it's causing a kind of a fiasco. A lot of people are wanting to return. Um, they've kind of gone and just selling them themselves and trying to buy new pairs from other people whose shoes didn't fit. So that's kind of how it's going down right now. I just measured my feet. I didn't spend the extra $30 for the measurement scan assist. I just opted for measuring my feet and it worked out pretty well. I would say I'm about a seven and a half, eight shoe size. I've always been that way. I Right now I feel like I've been going toward an eight more than seven and a half. Um, and then there's a lot of times where I'll go more toward a seven and a half. It really depends on the shoe. But I would say my shoe size is between a seven, seven and a half or eight. And I ordered the 38F, which is non-wide version um, of a 7 to 8 size range. And I would say they fit pretty well. I would say that the right, right around the toe box is where I've noticed the most sizing issues. It's a little tight and definitely I worked 10 hours yesterday and it was definitely a very, like it, it hurt after a long time. I would recommend starting out shorter amount of time walking around, like maybe like go out to dinner in them walk around shorter time frames, see how they fit and kind of work your way into them. I have noticed that the sole, the orthotic sole, makes the shoe kind of tighter. If you take it out of the shoe, obviously the shoe's a lot bigger. I think it takes a little while for your sh foot to like form to the orthotic sole, which is why it's kind of tight right now. And I think once I get past that point where it's like formed to my foot, it will be a lot better. Um, I haven't really wanted to like stretch them yet. I don't think that's, I'm not sure. I know that you can stretch like teaks and stuff with like a, a shoe stretcher and that helps sometimes, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. I kind of want to wait until, that was my dog, sorry. I want to wait until um, the sole, like the orthotic sole gets a little bit more mesh, like, like form to my foot, if that makes sense. So let me show you what they came in. So this was the box. It kind of opens like so. And you can kind of, it, it's nice that you can like store other things in it. So this is the carrying pouch that you can get. It has the logo on there, Soto Masini. Um, this is the bag you can get. Um, I know if you ordered a, like a larger size shoe, um, they gave you a like tote bag. But my shoe size is pretty small, so they give you 
a little pouch and I have already put both the shoes in here and they fit perfectly fine and this is great for traveling and putting them in your suitcase if you open it up it's pretty nice it has kind of like pouches and stuff a little bit of a pouch you can store stuff in and they fit both my shoes really nice and I think this is a really nice addition I know Teeks also has like a pouch that you can that comes with it and stuff but it's super hard to get those shoes in like you have to squeeze them in no complaining though I like that they also give you like a carrying a blue carrying case and everything and I know like I like Teeks too so I just think this is nice though this fits in your luggage really nice and I you can't put it in your purse that is one downside of this you can't like throw this in your purse unless you have like a really nice big purse but it's nice that you have the option to put this like in your suitcase each shoe when I got it also came in its own like little dust bag it also has the Soto Messini label on it and it basically you, put, you can put one shoe per pouch and it kind of like drawstring bags and this is nice too um, if you want if you're like maybe they're dirty and you just don't want to get the dirt everywhere these are nice and another option that it also comes with I'll be honest the packaging for this was impeccable I was very impressed with everything that it came with it wasn't just shoes thrown into a cardboard box like they put a lot of effort into every little detail and like the emblem being on everything these are they're called Soto Messini and I don't remember the name of the shoes I think Terzetto is the name of what they're calling them Terzettos um, but basically the company is Soto Messini and I do know they are eventually going to be opening like an online store so that other people can get them right now you can only get them if you were a backer with Kickstarter or Indiegogo. Sorry, my dog is looking out the window. Um, Indiegogo, which is another like Kickstarter like company that you can crowdfund. And so that's the only choice right now. Um, and they're $150 through those two things. And both campaigns have already ended. So you can't buy anything right now, I don't believe. You might be able to like... I'm not sure of the details, but you might be able to get something right now. But like, I think right now you have to wait until they open the store up, um, which is not that happened yet. Um, I know if you were a backer, they're going to be offering discounts depending on how many shoes you purchased. But right now you can't purchase anything. There's no store for the public. And I do believe the price range is going to be about $250 for these shoes once they're like actually um, shoes that you can purchase. It also came with this nice little card insert, just kind of a little postcard. It has some a model wearing the shoes and also a little thank you card, which was really sweet. Like that's so nice that they like they're they obviously care about their company and like are excited to get this started. And it was nice to get a little postcard. Alright, that's enough of the box. Now I'm going to show you the shoes. So what I purchased was the black snake so this is the snake pattern as you can see it kind of has a shimmer to it it has like a snake skin appearance sorry there's some dog hair on this um and that is the color that i got and i really do like it um and one of the options was if i was since i was a kickstarter backer i was able to get the original blue color as my option this color is not um, being sold anymore. This is basically like it was a Kickstarter exclusive color. Um, this was the color that they got into that lawsuit about. And basically all their shoe colors changed. So this was the original color of the sole and everything. And they ended up having to forego that. It was, they basically just nixed that and they started a new color. It was Soda Wine is now the new color. And it's kind of the color of this box. Um, I'll show you when I get that color pair. I have a pair coming that's that color. But this one is the original blue. And I really liked it and I thought I would get it just because I, you know, I'm not going to be able to get this color anymore. I do like them. I wore them so they're a little dirty. I apologize, but I wanted to wear them so that I could give like my full review. Um, so this is where I find it to be a little tight, right around this spot. I would say that they're fantastic, like width-wise. I have no issue like width wise and I got the non wide so I got the regular fit I know there was a wide option but I do believe that if I would have went with the wide option it would have been too tight around the size or too loose around the size like it would have definitely fallen off and I think lengthwise I'm perfect too like seven and a half eight 
this works for me. I mean, I'm not sure. I know there's been a lot of complaints, a lot of issues with other people with seven and a half, eight, but I have not had any issues. And again, I got the 38 F European size 38. I wear seven and a half, eight American size. So I have not had any issues with that. I would just say my main issue is just this part right here, kind of, especially on my right foot, this part right here, like hitting my like foot really tightly and just causing a lot of like pain after long wear. Like it, I can wear them short period of time without any pain. And now I'm going to pull out the insole. And this is what the orthotic sole looks like. This is the blue color, like I said. Um, you can see this um, has um, a very, very comfortable. This makes this shoe, I think, I would say. And I feel like that's part of the reason what why the price point is what they are. This is just fantastic. Like, this is absolutely worth the money. I It feels like you're walking on just cloud it's like a memory foam mattress I would say this is absolutely the best part of the shoe this is everything I this is so nice and this is what it looks like inside the shoe without it as you can see the shoe's a lot bigger now obviously because there's no sole in it and this shoe definitely fits more like how I would wear my normal shoe it's even a tad big so I'm hoping once this kind of meshes and forms to my foot after some wear this shoe will fit absolutely perfect so that's kind of my hopes. I don't really want to stretch it out. However, I would consider stretching with a shoe stretcher eventually if I absolutely felt like it was necessary. So that's that's kind of where we are with that. Um, so this is the color. Like I said, it's the black snake. Um, the black snake. I do have a color, another pair coming, and that color would is going to be the blue, navy blue, um, glittery color. Um, I forget the names. I apologize. I should have looked that up. But I will I, I will do a video when I get those shoes. And those are going to have the soda wine, um, soda wine color. So that's, we'll kind of compare it. And I'll show you these again when I get those. But let me just show you kind of up close what they look like. So here's the insides. You can see it has the Soda Messini label again. The back has the really nice Soda Messini. Now this is one of the other things that you could customize. There is a charm that like dangles here. It's actually like a fixed charm um, and it's like metal. And I bought that on my other pair. So that will have the charm. It has this like metal piece, which is nice. So like when you drive, it doesn't wear this part of the shoe out. The bottom also has kind of like a metal piece. And it does have kind of like a, almost a little heel. Like it's definitely not noticeable, but it's definitely like um, a little, it gives you a little like height. And it's very soft, definitely not like leathery, but it's, it's, you could, I could see these flaking off if you're not careful. I don't know if I would put anything on them to like make, protect them, but it's definitely worth like considering eventually. I'm not sure. The scales feel like really nice on there. They don't feel flaky at all, but like it could be a potential issue in the future. Um, other than that, this is this shoe and this is that ex the exclusive Kickstarter color so you can't get this color anymore up to my knowledge so um, if you have any questions post them in the comments and I will post another video when my other pair get here hopefully sometime this month it's November 1st so that's what we're expecting um, by the end of November we're having we'll all have our shoes so if you have any questions post them in the comments below and if you like this video like and subscribe um, I would like to post more videos like this, so if you have any ideas, post them down below. Thanks. Bye.